Hello, it's Louis Hayden Maxon. This time's come from Jimmy on Patreon. Now, here's how I need to get onto his favorite album by The Architects. Now, this came out in 2021. It is their ninth album for those that wish to exist. Very keen, some very cool little track titles. Like, we got Black Lungs, Discourse is Dead, Demigod, some exciting stuff. Now, it is metal. I don't think I've really listened to a full on metal album. Apple Music lists it as heavy rock. I'm starting to see a theme with Jimmy. This is his kind of a vibe. I also have reacted to his band's Color Mind. They are on the channel. There it is, the Color Mind Jimmy's band, Epic. Epic, epic album. I guess it probably is going towards that, but I just, I always just class that stuff like emo -y rock or like 2000s, just because that's how I know it. Although, such a strong album. Go check it out. I highly encourage it. They're from my town. They're a local band, which we love to support, and we love to go in with brand new things. So, Architects, I'm very keen to see what the hell we've got. This and all my other videos are on Patreon. Links are down below if you want to support me. All that jazz. Let's crack one of these. Um, mm, mm, mm. It is hot today, it's like 40 degrees, so we are gonna be rocking out. If this is heavy metal or whatever the hell, I'm very keen to see what the hell we've got. And Jimmy doesn't let me down, he hasn't let me down so far. His band, OJ, and now we got this. I'm very keen to see what we got. Let's get straight into it. First song is Do You Dream of Armageddon? Let's go. Ooh, an intro song, we love them. metaphor of you can't get to heaven unless you've grown in hell so I guess you've got to do some bad things repent realize and maybe write your ways maybe to get to heaven I don't know that's just how I got it very strong I love the vocals I love the production rereading Jimmy said this is a mainstream rock pop metal album so that makes more sense I was like oh this sounds like quite nice so yeah I think it's gonna be definitely up my vibe with what I love about music and like I said Jimmy's band it just I guess it's quite similar sound which is <laughs> which makes sense why this is his favorite album because it definitely can feel that and I guess his band was very accessible I really enjoyed it Next song, Black Lungs. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah, way heavier. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, chill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually make sure that I. Quite emotional. Click the wings of the phoenix. What the hell? Epic, epic, epic. What an opening song. Obviously, I know we had the intro, but really, this is the first song where you really, I guess, get to know them. And I guess, in a sense, you get to know Jimmy more. Just, yeah, so up his alley in terms of what he's producing with his band. It's just, it's got the politicalness. It's got just those feels, the emotion within the vocals. Oh my God, I think there's a few dudes singing, but wow, the screamer is always just so impressive because obviously it's just incredible that you can do that with your voice. Your voice. <laughs> I was going to say vocal. <laughs> your voice. Intense, intense, but definitely more 
more mainstream, so much more palatable, I suppose, than anything that goes beyond this. And this is, I guess, like Seosin vibes for me, if I'm gonna compare it to stuff that I've heard. I love it though, that was sick. I love lyrics that hit ya. The voice, like I said, just, it engulfs you emotionally. Like I was getting chills the whole time. If that's the second song, I'm very keen to see what the other Buddy 13 have. Next song's Giving Blood, let's go. <laughs> was so good oh my god i cannot get over the emotion that you just feel within it you just want to read along like you honestly just want to know every single word so you can just scream it out it's such a release and it's such a feel it's crazy that this type of music is so based in emotion and feeling when i guess you don't really expect that or think that just from the screaming you think it's just you know just some angry dudes but this is some sad stuff i mean this is general for the whole genre itself three and a half minutes but there's so many lyrics packed in you get such a story and it feels so much longer because you're just so engulfed in it. Love that. Love everything about it. Absolutely my favorite song. Jesus, like, wow. Stunning vocals, production, lyrics, everything. Literally made me tear up. So good. Love it. Next song's Discourse is Dead. Let's go. I'm now just so excited to see what you're gonna get. Which is the best album I'd like to listen to.
Don't look down, let thy neighbor drown. Whoa, full on. I'm obviously gonna need help here understanding what the hell the songs are about. Intense. Every man for himself, let thy neighbor drown. So I guess that is going against, I guess, like the commandments, etc. I love religion intertwined into songs regardless. Oh, sick, heavy, heavy, like probably, oh, how can you even say the heaviest? The heaviest. Probably. I think <laughs> you compare it to the other songs, not as mainstream, but I mean, that really doesn't matter because we're already so in it. Anything they give us, I'm going to enjoy, I think. Love it. So full on. Again, it makes you think, regardless of if you're thinking what the song's about, it provokes your own thoughts and I guess your own relationship, religion, how you view it, things like that. Which is, yeah, like I said, the best albums are ones that make you think and the ones that you get excited for the next song, which is called Dead Butterflies. Let's go. <laughs> Again, four minutes engulfing, you don't even realize it is that long of a song. And I say that because obviously, you know, that isn't a longer side of song these days. Stunning, beautiful, just the flower that never blooms is always overlooked. Like, just so poignant and hitting and just so perfect. Again, it's a song you want to read it all and you want to just know it so you can feel it and sing along with them. Not many albums or, you know, artists can have that ability to really make you want to learn it all that quickly. So yeah, I'm loving, I'm just loving that. Number six here, favorite number is gonna the best song on the album. It's called An Ordinary Extinction. Interesting, let's go. Ooh. I always forget they start off soft and then they just slam in every time. See, this makes you want some heavy screamo. <laughs> There's no one coming, so you got the courage.
What a bloody centerpiece to the album. I know it's got 15 songs, but number six always for me is just like, you know, that centerpiece. Insane, that is a movie song credit. Like, you know, it definitely, even like Saw has these screamo song credits, but this is like end of the world. Or like maybe the finale song in the third act. I don't know, that is just so cinematic and just so perfectly fitting for what you want to hear when it's so intense and all that stuff's happening. Love it. The end of the world, religion, all intertwined. It's all... I mean, very similar with throughout the album, but every song sounds so different and its own piece, and it kind of adds a different element to the stuff that we all think, but we don't think that hard about because there's no point thinking that hard about it because it's just, I don't think humans are meant to think that hard because you'd go insane. You, the life just doesn't allow for that. You know, the rat race doesn't allow you to think that deep. Insane, insane, insane. I honestly feel like I'm in a mosh pit. It, I'm soaked in sweat. I mean, it's 40 degrees. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's 40 degrees. It's insane. This music just makes you want to move. So definitely getting the whole, I'm getting like the 360, the, what is it, the 4D experience. <laughs> Next song is Impermanence, I think. Let's go. How do you follow some of these songs? You're like, what can you do to top that? Listen to what I just said. Oh, yeah, it's like, we can change it, but we're not gonna, because... I mean, so similar to what I was saying, you know, rat race, where, you know, we're all part of a symphony. We're born to lose, no one wants to meet the maker, if you're afraid to live, if you're afraid to die, you're not going to live, all that stuff. Very inspiring, it makes you think like, yeah, I need to go and do things. Not things that, you know, may make me die, but just things that make me experience things and you can't be afraid to go and do them all, that's what's the point of living. Very cool, very cool. Definitely, like I said, thought provoking and calls out society and we need to think more like this. Like you can think this while you're listening, you're like, oh my God, yes, yes, yes. But it's so easy to just forget it all when you leave this environment of, you know, like hearing creative people and you know, being embraced by the music and then going out in the real world. Like I said, it's, we're born, we're born to lose. I mean, it's so specific and just, yeah. I think this stuff a lot. Next song's Flight Without Feathers. Let's go. There's a rose that blooms through the cracks and the coast staining the prison. Oh, staining the prison floor. <laughs> Okay. 
actually don't really know what it's about specifically, which is wild how the softest song was the hardest to connect with. Interesting, it's wild that I'm gonna say it's probably my least favorite. It is stunning and so nice and so the music I would normally listen to, but like I said, it's almost, I'm so now just accustomed to the intensity that this one you're like, oh, whoa, I guess it takes a little bit to get used to. I say it's my least favorite, it's stunning and I absolutely love that vibe. I think it's probably the hardest for me to connect to, which is why I'm like, oh, I'd probably rank it the least favorite out of, you know, the eight songs we just heard. Love though, very pretty, stunning. I mean, I got the voice, I love that type of voice and just that slowness which it's like I said it's just wild that I'm like oh okay like the stuff I'm usually loving I'm like oh I want something else next one's Little Wonder let's go and we're back about us like the human race just we had it coming we kind of just ignore the signs we do whatever we want and I guess if we miss stuff we'll just blame something else very cool love 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 like I said the ninth song still hitting that hard as the rest such a perfect flow through <sighs> Insane, insane album. I am actually just so shocked at how much I love it, how much I'm vibing, and just how hitting it is. I mean, it's stuff I absolutely love, and it's just so palatable for me, which obviously, you know, is the reason I love it. Jimmy Boy on the money. This is just so, so, so good. I can see what's favorite album. I absolutely will be going back to this and listening to it and picking songs, having them on repeat, and then just playing the whole album through. The best albums I get recommended are just the ones that take you over, and you just, you know, you love them, and you have them on repeat for like the whole day after after I've reacted anyway. Next song's Animals. Let's go. to absorb it into you, this intensity. Just immersive, so engulfing, 
and I guess, you know, similar to what we've discussed. Ah, what life is when you think so hard, it's just so weird. I mean, what was coming in my head, even like the diamonds, you know, just like with the mining industry and what we're doing to the planet and how there's specific people who are just so rich and it's like, how did that come? It's all just from, you know, random luck or privilege or things like that. So it's just so wild the world we live in and just how the planets became what they were. I mean, they say humans are so intelligent, but I guess fundamentally they will just ruin everyone to get ahead in life. Everyone will. Like when push comes to shove, I think every single person would do that, which is wild because they say that humanity isn't that, whereas it kind of is. Interesting. Should we just pull the pin? Probably, but we got another song to listen to. Next one's Libertine. Let's go. Again, like nearly four minutes and even though I didn't enjoy it as much as the others, it still just flies by. It's still so nice to listen to and I really just think it's the one that I'm not connecting with lyrically, which I don't know what the other one was. Flight Without Feathers, I, th I think, I think was the one where I was like, yeah, it's nice and it's beautiful. Like I said, this one's very easy to listen to. They're just not as engulfing. They're just, I guess, just really pleasant to listen to and you can just sit here and be like, yeah, this is nice, but I'm not connecting per se. So I guess not giving me that emotional feeling, but it's crazy that the songs that are still just so easy to listen to are still better than you know someone's best song which is crap you know if that makes if that makes sense <laughs> when i tell you i am soaked in sweat i'm not even exaggerating i honestly feel like i'm at a freaking concert it is insane next song's guy let's go train okay. the bloody king that's not listening like we'll hang a hero and then we'll beg for someone to save us when that person probably could have but i guess i don't know maybe they're too different all right it's happening oh, i was like can i hold out i can't i'm literally drooping but this is very mosh pit mode anyway take it off let's just go in with demigod and let's see what they got so let's go Ooh, studios <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
longer than the rest of the songs I mean it's only a little bit longer than them but wow not as hitting for me which is yeah why all the songs are like Timmy God obviously let me know what it means down below let me know yeah if that is one of your favorites I don't know if it would be considering the whole album is really nothing like that next song's media let's go and we're back to the song again not another one that hit me so let me know what it's about but still again they're still nice to listen to even if they're not as engulfing as the other ones we got the last song though it's called dying is absolutely safe let's wrap up this epic epic album like just truly insane on this chat let's go i really hope we go with a bang though like let's go maybe not from the cradle to the grave it takes a fierce grace to like referencing the other stuff. Yeah, this is so pretty. across the entire album incredible 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 and that's the album done definitely leaves you feeling a lot flatter than the start of the album like what an epic journey i definitely think like one to seven so engulfing so emotional and maybe that's why the second half you're just quite drained because the first half is so intense and just so demanding of you that maybe then hit as hard like i said there's a few that didn't hit as hard as the others but i think that's just the connection but everything across the board sound is so stunning like even the second half is still so nice to wrap up with dying is absolutely safe you know still just is just so perfect what an album but those that wish to exist i mean yeah definitely challenges your thoughts challenges the status quo what we can do with our lives what we can expect of ourselves or i guess push ourselves jimmy boy on the money production vocals lyrics sound intensity emotion replayability flowability everything just a perfect album and exactly what you want to listen to let me know your favorite songs down below i guess yeah any information about the band about the album everyone out there please let me know what the songs are about because i really want to know again even the songs that i interpreted my own i want to know i guess what the band said about them full and cuts are on patreon as always links are down below it's been a hot one <laughs> hope wherever you are it's a lot cooler than wherever i am but i also hope that you've been rocking out and you've been working up a sweat with the album too thanks again jimmy again if you guys want to check out his band i've reacted to them they are on the channel you can go and do it out. Other than that, all my socials are down below. You're not to be right. I'm right.